with this fresh crown for the for the grade two environment design. My dear kids, do you know about what we are going to talk today? First, we we'll see a small video clip and see what's our lesson today. A brief and somewhat accurate history of how we stay connected. Let's see if an important message can be delivered by different means of communication, such as the smoke signal, the homing pigeon, the Pony Express. The semaphore flag, the telegraph, the telephone, the radio, email, the smartphone. Last but not least, Facebook. Like us on Facebook so we can stay connected. Now you know what's our lesson today. Yes. It's about how do we get information. It's about how do we get information. First we we'll see what are the methods used by people long time ago to communicate what they used to communicate long time ago this one they dream on cave walls they dream on cave walls and they used great clay also they they dream on sand to communicate information information They shouted, they used red flags and they used small signals when they are in danger. After all these, they used some pigeons and ponies to deliver information. These are some methods that are used by people all days. Now we see what are the methods used by people nowadays. Right, to communicate. First of all, we we'll see what is an information. What's an information? Yes, information is a news or knowledge that is received or given. It's a, it's a news or knowledge that is received or given. So as small kids, you are dealing with your parents, your teachers, your friends, so you are you all are sharing information. When you share information, those information should be very accurate. If not, you all are sharing wrong information. Right. People use words, sounds, signs, or body expressions to share information. What they are to share, what they are uh, using. They are using words, sounds, signs, or body expressions. Okay. People communicate using sounds. Examples like ambulance, like bell, school bell. What they are sharing? They are sharing some information. And also, people you communicate using signs. Have you seen this type of sign boards? They are sharing information using signs. People communicate using expressions and behaviors like happiness, sadness, anger. They communicate using expressions. Also, people use different gestures or postures to communicate. Example like uh, facial expressions. Example. Uh, when I say like this, stop. Like this, come. Like this, we use 
questions or issues to communicate. Have you heard about mining? Mining, it means we don't do not talk, we just act and we are trying to express some information. Let's watch a small video clip of mining and after that you can try these mines at your home. the video right. try this at your home this will be an interesting for you right. first one wake up early in the morning brush your teeth wash your face scrape coconut drive in a vehicle ride in a bicycle as well as use a mobile phone these you can try with mine at your home Right. Now we are going to see what are the sources of getting information. We call them media. Radio, telephone, mobile phones, announcements. These are the methods used to communicate nowadays. We, using radio, telephone, mobile phone, announcement, we can hear the message and computer television internet social media by using those we can see the message we can hear the message and we can read the message also newspaper banners notice boards email Posters, magazines, billboards, and leaflets. We can see the message, we can read the message. We use satellite as well to get some information. There are some important points that you should know while using media. What are those? First one, while driving a mobile phone, what you have to do, you have to move to a convenient, a suitable place and check the calling mobile number. Talk only the essential message. Disconnect the call after talking. These are some points that you should know while taking a phone call. Next one. When you operate a radio, what do you have to do? First, you have to ask your parents or elder to supply the electricity, switch the radio on, select the required channel, adjust the volume and switch off the radio after listening. These are some points that you should know when you operate a radio. So when you switch off a radio, what you must do? First, reduce the volume, switch the radio off and disconnect the electricity supply. If you use a mobile phone while lightning, when it is heavily raining and lightning, if you use a mobile phone, what will happen? Sometimes the phone will be blasted and it will damage your ear drum as well. Also, sometimes fatal incident can happen. It means uh, it will uh, sometimes someone's uh, life will be damaged. Then, if you do not disconnect the power supply of the television when lightning, if you watch television while lightning, what will happen? 
the television will be damaged due to sometimes blast and sometimes a fatal incident can be happen. happen. Sometimes someone can die. So if you do not use the correct posture when you are using the computer, what will happen? You will get back pain, you will get neck pain, you will get shoulder pain and eye pain as well. So always remember to use the correct posture when using the computer. So my dear kids, always remember to use the media correctly and very safely. So that's the end of our uh, session one of our lesson, lesson uh, how, how do we get information. We'll back on session two. Thank you and God bless you.